I'm going to show you how to search for dental hygiene articles in Galileo Discover, Academic Search, CNAL, and Medline Plus, and any other EBSCO database. Here we are on the Galileo Discover homepage. Let's say that I want to look for articles about smoking and periodontal disease. Galileo Discover works very much like Google in that you can just type your search terms in without any connectors. Then click search. It will look within the full text of the articles for your search terms. It includes all types of publications. You can narrow this down by choosing full text, scholarly journals only. You can narrow it by date. You can narrow it by journal, and what you may want to do, since we have recommended particular databases for you, is narrow it to Academic Search Complete, Medline, and CNAL Plus with full text. You might want to look over some of these other options also, then update your results and you are narrowed to those particular journals. You can change the sort to date if you wish, and then uh, access the articles by clicking on the title. Most of them are PDFs, so click on PDF to get to the whole article. Now I'm going to show you how much more power you have when you go to an individual database. I start at the Galileo homepage and click on databases A through Z. Then let's say I'm going to go to Medline. In this case, I'm going to choose Medline with Full Text at EBSCOhost. Now the default search here is Boolean, which means that I need to connect my search terms with AND, OR, or NOT. So in this case, I would need to put Smoking and Periodontal Disease. Let me also demonstrate an advanced search for you. In an advanced search, you can create complex searches. So let's say I would do smoking or tobacco and periodontal disease or dental hygiene. So basically, I want to put one concept on each line connected with or, then connect the various concepts with and. Down here under Limit Your Results, I have a lot of other options. I can limit my results to human only because this database also covers animals. I can specify a gender, a type of clinical inquiry, journal and citation subsets. One of my options under Journals and Citation Subsets is Dentistry. Some of my other options include date of publication, particular age range, a subject subset, and a type of publication. Once I've chosen all my limiters, I can just click search. These articles should be much more specific than the articles that I found in Galileo Discover. One of the things you might notice is this Find It button. The Find It button indicates that the full text of that article is not available in this database. By clicking on the Find It button, it will open a new window. It will tell you if the full text is available in another database. However, it will not tell you if it's in the ProQuest database, so you should check there too. It will give you some options to check in GPC or Gill Universal Catalog for a print copy of the article, or allow you to request an interlibrary loan. An interlibrary loan for an article could happen very quickly if they send it to us electronically, or it may take a couple of weeks. So unless you want a particular article pretty badly, you might want to find another article on the same topic. But we will be glad to place it in your library loan if you need that article. Let's say you want to get rid of the Find It buttons. Narrow your results to full text. You can also narrow by date. And then update. I can also choose one of my search terms as a major subject heading. 
The default sort here is by date descending, which means that the most recent article is on top. If I want to change this to relevance, I can. From here, I can click on the title of the article, then read the abstract. An abstract is a summary of the article. This will give you an indication of whether or not you want to read the rest of the article. To get to the whole article, I can click on PDF Full Text. I can save, email, or print the article over here. All of your citation information is right here. However, you may choose to use the cite link to get a head start on the citation formatting. Quite often, there are mistakes in these automatic citations, so double check for punctuation, capitalization, etc. And that's how you use EBSCOhost databases and discover to look for dental hygiene articles.